tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, if you can manage to avoid the fruit flies out there, tonight may be a decent night to open the windows up, give the AC a break because we've got some less humid air that has filtered into the tri state. Courtesy of yesterday's cold front, which has kind of parked its way to our south, it's thrown on a break. So we've seen this pattern, right? Several times here this summer where these cold fronts come through, they park themselves to our south. We get to enjoy a day or two of less humid weather conditions, and we get to enjoy a break from thunderstorms for about a day or two before we see that front come back. Back in our direction again. This is what will happen on Friday with heat, humidity, and yes, more storms. Until then, enjoy the spectacular weather this evening. It will feel nice out. Temperatures will be slipping from the 80s down into the 70s. I like to call it nice and comfortable across the area. As I mentioned, we haven't gotten rid of all the humidity, but we certainly have gotten rid of a good chunk of it with dew points comfortably in the 60s. That's a lot better than those 70 degree dew points that you see way down here in southern parts of Kentucky. That's going to stay there for about one more day before we see our humidity levels rise by Friday. So outside right now this afternoon, it's turned out to be a gorgeous one. We had some dense fog to start today, but we really have broken out into nice sunshine now. 83 at the airport. We've got a southerly breeze at around 6. Let me show you temperatures not bad across the Ohio Valley. Just about everyone in the 80s. The only 90 down there around Paducah. That heat and humidity, that's what will be returning to the area by Friday. Let me show you future casts here. We're looking good tonight across the area. Notice though between 6:30 and as we go through the early morning hours on Thursday, again, I think patchy areas of dense fog will be a problem. Probably not quite as widespread, <clears throat> excuse me, as it was this morning across the area. But I do think it will return and then as we head into our Thursday, some warm sunshine for afternoon. Friday looks dry for the most part. However, Friday evening, just in time for some of your high school football games and Friday night, scattered showers and thunderstorms are likely to be a good deal, and those will likely linger possibly into early Saturday. So here's your forecast for tonight. Drop to a low of about 65, clear skies with some patchy, dense fog late, and then tomorrow, hot sun, but not too humid, though, so still comfortable, 89 for the high. Here's your day planner for tomorrow morning, starting out in the 60s, climbing up into the upper 80s, and there's your seven-day forecast. Again, showers and storms in here Friday night into early Saturday before a nice stretch of weather begins on Sunday.